I've noticed that a lot of people have no idea what the hell they're doing. So they're trying to follow my tutorials and they're getting stuck in just the beginning of it, right? And I understand why. It's because they don't understand the terminal. So I'm gonna do something quick. I'm gonna teach you just what you need to know about the terminal to be able to be dangerous and just to be able to do most of the projects out there. Because everybody uses this style of coding and you know of basically creating projects right so we're gonna do this we're gonna come here imagine like this close this up quit you're gonna come here you're gonna search terminal right open up your terminal it's gonna throw you to the home your home folder right whenever you see this little curly line that means you're inside your home folder to make sure you click here CD which means change directory you click curly line right now you click LS which means show me all the folders and all the files that are inside of this this folder right the home folder right now you're in here you see this projects for me I usually write like to write my code inside of a folder named code but for you guys I'm gonna create this folder we're gonna say mkdir make directory uh project x right projects right project x you click enter press ls now we created this folder you see project x before it wasn't created what that did was if you come here and you click on downloads or you click on any of these folders and you right click here and then you see here your username. You click there, and then this is your home folder, right? Here you're gonna see all the folders that you have, you know, for your computer, your applications, your creative cloud, downloads, movies, music, pictures, whatever, right? Now, the folder that we just created, Project X, I want you guys to move to the left, right? So now you always have in your favorites. At any moment, you could come here, and check what the hell is going on, right? So that's where you're gonna have all your projects, right? So now, now that we're in here, through here, we're gonna do this. We're gonna say CD project X. Oops, what is not? Oh, because I, I basically made it like that. So project CD project X. I named it like that, I messed the T, sorry, okay? So it's P-R-O-J-E-C-X. I don't know why I named it that, right? So I'm inside of this folder, right? Now, this is the same thing as if I was doing it through here. But the only difference is we're doing it through the terminal, all right? Now remember, at any moment, you could come here and say CD, and then you press Shift, and right under the Escape key, there should be a little squiggly line on your keyboard. You click that, you can go back, and you click LS, you can see what's inside of it. That's gonna bring you back to your home page, right? Okay, now let's go back. <laughs> let's go back in. CD, change directory, project X. All right, so we're inside. There's nothing there. But if I come here and I create a new folder, here, testing, one and i click here ls you will see the folder testing one this is the same thing only difference like i said you're doing it through the terminal all right now let's envision this we're gonna come to the project download this here right you're gonna come here and you're gonna say clone or download zip right for now we're not cloning it because a lot of people don't even know how to clone so it's fine Right now, we're downloading it, right? We download it, shows up here, okay? Open up a new finder window, go to downloads. As you can see here, start a kit tool, 2018 master. What you're going to do is, you're gonna copy this. We're gonna rename this thing and name it 
uh, vape store right you gotta copy this copy everything that's inside of it and we gotta put it inside of the vape store folder now you have my project inside of your vape store folder right cool now we're gonna come back to your terminal right okay we're gonna press ls you see because I changed the name here now it's named vape store now we're gonna change inside of it CD and then we're gonna go vape store what that means is change directory to the vape store there's the same thing as me saying double click into it right now now that you're here you're going to do something like this you're gonna say you're gonna make sure that you install yarn you, you follow all the steps here you install node.js through here you install yarn you download it atom the atom packages you don't have to worry about it if for whatever reason it doesn't work on your computer on your windows computer or linux or whatever you're using this works on mac for sure but if it doesn't work on your computer i'm going to teach you how to do it on your computer right um, on any computer pretty much right so now that we're here we're inside the vape store right now that we're here and we click ls we see all the files that are inside of this folder remember here you see this joe mac pro vape store that's the folder that we are in at any moment i could say cd backpack which is just dot dot it takes you back to the parent folder which is vape store now if i come back and i say cd backpack it brings me back to the home store to the home project and as you can see it here home project the home folder sorry the project x we came from the project x and then from here we came from the vape store project so you see how the same way how you do it here when you're like okay back back that's what the dot dot does okay guys now let's go back in here again at any moment you could say cd project x and then slash vape store what that means is change directory to the project x and then vape store you see now we're in here okay let me move back in so you can see it what we're actually doing here okay now through the terminal you're gonna say once everything is installed once you installed everything from here and you follow all the steps you're gonna say yarn you're gonna run yarn that right there what it's doing is just downloading all the, the packages that you need from node.js that's it and what that's doing is it's installing it locally here as you can see this this folder wasn't here before no modules it was not there so you're basically installing all those packages inside of this see it's like hundreds of of files and, and folders and, and javascript libraries and a whole bunch of shit right now let's give it a little second cool it's done now what we're gonna say is yarn watch that's it that's all you guys needed to do for some reason a lot of people uh, didn't know this I'm sorry I, I, I thought that everybody knew this by now but not everybody knows this so that's why I made this tutorial for you guys now let's go back into this thing because there's more stuff that I want to explain to you guys now let's open Adam right you could come here on Adam and click at the left, click on preferences. I think for Windows, it's like in the edit folder or it's around here. Search for preferences or settings on Windows. So, okay, we're here. We're in, inside of preferences, which becomes settings, right? You could come here to install. And then you see this packages here, Adam package that list. You could come here and just copy this and say Adam Beautify and search that. You see, you can install it from here. 
and just click install right there. It's gonna show like that and you click install. Now, you could also say, uh, start adding all of them. You know, you go one by one and install it manually. For whatever reason, for some people, it doesn't work when they do the APM install dash dash package. If that doesn't work for you guys, just do it manually. At any moment, you guys can open this package file, right? And you can look at the names of the packages that you need for Adam, okay? Now, if for whatever reason, you don't see this file inside of your folder, right? This file called .babelrc. It means that your computer cannot see hidden files. So whenever you copy it over to the Bape Store folder, right? Whenever you copy that, this file did not get switched over. So this is what happens on it, all right? You're gonna get this error. Whenever you run yarn watch, you're gonna get that error because you're missing one file. Even though you're seeing this right now at the moment, it's that's you're seeing actually something that was already compressed and transpiled by my computer, right? But you're getting this error because you're missing that file. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on your Atom and create this file, new dot babel rc, right? And then you're gonna paste this inside of it and save it. Now, whenever you run yarn watch, there's no errors. Everything is running smooth. That's it. All right, guys. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video, man. I hope that I solved all your problems. I, I show you exactly what's going on and how to work in the you know the terminal and you can understand, you know, a little bit more of what's happening. All right, guys, this is very simple. If you want, just go over the video one more time. If you don't get it, it's fine. Don't beat your head. <laughs> don't beat yourself in the head. I'm sorry. Don't beat your head. But go back for a second. Watch this video again. Trust me. Once you get this, you're going to always be able to do any type of project that you see from tutorials, from anybody on YouTube, anybody on Udemy. You're basically going to understand this. And like I said, do what I do. To make my life easier, every time I create a pro like a folder or or a, a parent folder or whatever a project folder i create it here and say parent folder or whatever you want to call it folder and then i always put it here on my favorites so at any moment i could close this up and i just come back and i could just go here parent folder and find all my files all right and like that at the same time you're always going to have access to this. You can always come back and say squiggly line, bring me home, CD, and then parent folder. Now you're inside. All right. And you can come here, make directory, uh, one, two, three, whatever, and it shows up. All right. So simple. Okay, guys. I'm trying to keep it simple. I don't know. This wasn't even going to be a video. I might make another video of explaining this even more in depth of the terminal. But this was just to solve you guys the issues that you might be having right now. All right. See you guys later. Bye. GGG, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. By the way, if you want to know exactly what courses I took to become a web developer, they're right there in the description. It's no secret, it's nothing crazy, it's no secret gift that I had. It's just pretty much, I took the courses, they're pretty cheap, they're like $15 each on specials, and just, listen man, change your life, change your lifestyle, do something fun and something cool that you could call a career. Bow.